Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, we're gonna be checking out this health COVID-19 allergen rapid test. They say you can do this at home, 15 minutes. We're gonna put that to the test and see how long this takes, see how it works together. Um, I believe this is gonna work pretty good. I know they say that the newest Omicron variant doesn't seem to work as well around the actual rapid test. So we'll find out together. Um, I know a lot of people are looking for COVID tests, so um, I'll be your guinea pig here. This is available on Amazon, and I will have a link for you for this very kit right below. So be sure and click that link for the very best price okay all right so looking at the box you can see very cool looks like it's pretty easy you get two kits see results in 15 minutes fda approved so that sounds pretty good uh, on the back here talks about do you use uh talks about in, in absence of a current covid test okay so if you get a real test at a doctor's office that's better than a rapid test okay but this is better than nothing this might give you an idea they say under the current guidelines if you do two of these and you are negative for both then it's probably pretty true you're negative but just getting one negative may or may not really be negative you don't quite know but if it's positive you know that it's probably really a positive so anyway let's go ahead and check it out we'll go ahead and uh open this up here let's grab my little scissors and we'll give this a little steamy step i've done a lot of covid tests so i'm pretty familiar with the the process of covid testing so this isn't gonna be anything too new i think i've done about 12 covid tests over the last year or so so uh, quite a few probably more than some people i'm um, looking at the inside of the kit here looks like we have lots of stuff here we have whoa okay this is like the little stick up the nose thingy okay so we got two of those i'm imagining here let's check this out we have um like oh what the heck is this like a little a little syringe thing or something uh, a covid test uh like i guess that's what you put the test thing into the little q-tip uh let's see here why do they give you a whole bunch of these wow this is like a little bit more elaborate than i thought tell you the truth um looks like we have some kind of like little test card here okay so we got the test card looks like we have probably like two sets of these same things so we'll go ahead and check this out together we have like parts rolling around here let's see okay so you got two of those two of those two of these okay and it looks like everything you have is in double so you can actually do two complete tests Okay, so the instructions here are pretty elaborate. Um, basically, you open up the little swab, okay, right there. You pull that out. Um, make sure you don't touch it with your hands, okay? And then you stick up your nose about three-fourths an inch, okay? And then you get some slow brushes, like five one direction, five the other direction, so both nostrils give it a good go, you know? And then as far as the actual container goes, you open the tube vertically, okay, with a large cap, okay, to open the tube. And then from there, you stick in your little Q-tippy, just like that. Stick it in, give a stir about 15 times, okay? Then squeeze out the sides to get as much liquid as possible into like the little container. Okay, then you pull it out. Okay, then you go ahead and uh, screw it back together. You're adding your sample essentially. Okay, then once that's all good, then you take off the little tip here, and that would be like this little clear tip right there. You take off the clear tip, okay? And then you drip this onto the test, which is right here. You drip this on there, and then um, three drops. And then from that point, you wait 15 minutes Okay, and then it should give you a test, okay? And there's a few lines here. One is like kind of just making sure the test result uh, worked, okay? And then one is like if you're COVID possible. So that's like if the test is working. So look at the T line to make sure the test is functioning properly. And then the C line, I believe, is the COVID line, okay? And so down here, here's some examples. Sometimes the test lines can be faint too, it says, okay? So people will test positive, um, should self-isolate. Um, this is like a negative result. So a negative result would be no T line, but a C line, okay? Okay. And then a invalid result would be a T line with nothing there. So that's interesting. Okay. So basically a positive would show both the C and the T. Okay. So you'd have both of them showing as a positive and they say it can be kind of faint too. That's, that's really interesting. Okay. So here's some photos of some actual tests. Okay. So you can see it can be kind of faint. So taking a look, you see both of them, see both of them, see both of them, see both of them. And uh, you can see both of them as a little a little bit faint on that one right there, okay? And a negative result would be the C, but no T, okay? So again, basically you look at the lines really carefully and they kind of explain what's going on there. So pretty cool. Um, Invalid result would be a T with no C, okay? And then you dispose of the test kit. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and give this a go here and check this out and see how this works. And with any luck, hopefully I'll be a negative. 
okay, so I'm pretty pumped. Let's go ahead and do this, guys. We have the little Q-tip, the guy right here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out, and as normal, you don't wanna touch the end of the Q-tip, okay? So don't touch that end. We're gonna hold on to just only the stick. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out here, carefully just touching the stick and not the Q-tip part. So we're gonna pull that out just like that. There we go. You can kind of see what that looks like. Okay, not real big. Looks a little smaller than the ones they use in the doctor's office, to be honest with you. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this up the nose about three fourths an inch and turn it five times one direction and five times the other in both nostrils, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, that looks pretty gross, actually. That's out of my nose, yuck. Uh, let me go ahead and go to the next step here. Okay, the next step, we're gonna stick this into here. Okay, so we're sticking this in all the way down and we're gonna go ahead and turn this about 15 times. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 15 times, so that looks good. Okay, and now we're, they want us to go ahead and squeeze, okay? So squeeze both sides of the tube to get um, expressed as much positive is into the swab. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try and squeeze this here, okay? And now we're gonna try and pull this out. Okay, looks good. We squeeze the swab. Uh, okay, good. I think we got a good sample going there. Looks very sticky. Okay, and then they tell us to go ahead and take this and stick this back into the tube, into here. This is like the trash. So we don't want to expose this to anyone else. Okay, next, we're gonna go ahead and take the lid here and tighten this back up. My eyes are burning right now. Like I can't show you this on camera, but my eyes are totally burning from the solution that was in here. Like when you get that, you know, it kind of burns a little bit and my eyes are watering. I, and something is definitely working. Like I could feel that for sure. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and work on this part next here. And what they tell us to do is tighten this up good, which we did, okay? And then now we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. The best way I can describe um, this it being in your nose and this after is kind of like if you had like a Hall's Metholithus like cough drop and stuck it in your eyeball. Like my eyes are watering so bad right now from this whole thing. So I can tell this is a real a real chemical test, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we wanna go ahead and open up one of our test kits. So we're gonna cut this open here, okay? And we're gonna pull out the little, kind of looks like a pregnancy test kind of sorta. So here's a little test here, okay? And what you want is three drops. So we're gonna put three drops of this into there, okay, three drops. So let me go ahead and um, I think this is sufficiently mixed up good, so it's screwed up good. We're gonna twist open the small white cap, okay? So we're twisting that open, just like that. Okay, there we go. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put three drops of this onto there. So here goes nothing, guys, so here goes. Hopefully the camera's catching this good. So there's one drop, okay, two drops. And I don't know if we can really take three drops Three drops. Okay, there we go. And now we have to wait 15 minutes, okay? So we're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes and we're gonna see, oh, it looks like a line's already forming. So something looks like maybe it's working. You can kind of see the liquid is kind of like, it looks like it's just moving from here onto the litmus strip and kind of working its way down. So it's working its way through. While it does that, it does mention to put the cap back on. So we're gonna leave this down here for now, okay? We're gonna leave that on a little level surface and we're gonna go ahead and put the cap back on here real good. So that's good. And now we're really done with this part as well. So now we have two, we have two or three trash portions here. We have um, this trash, the Q-tip, the little jar, and then of course this part here. So you probably could kind of stick all this stuff together maybe. Um, this is all gonna go in the trash and of course you don't wanna expose anyone to this stuff, so. Let's go ahead and we should start a clock too. We need to start a timer here so we know when 15 minutes is up. Let me go ahead and get a clock going. We're almost at the one minute mark. I can definitely see something starting here. You can kind of see the C, the line is forming, but I don't have to, only the C. So that looks like that's the test is working. Uh, we'll see if we get the two lines or not. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna be COVID free. But we'll check this out together. 
Okay, so we passed 15 here, so now it's time to check our test. I'll put the phone down and check it out, my friends. It looks like in this particular case, it looks like I am a negative. Check it out. You can see the C, which is for control, okay? So that means we know that the control line worked, the test did work, but you can see the T line there is not lit up at all. There's no, even a faint COVID line is there. So I'm definitely COVID free. So that's awesome, guys. Um, that's how the test works. It's very easy to do these. Again, this particular test here, um, this is available on Amazon and I will have a link for you um, down below. So be sure and click that link to yours. So easy, guys. You can do this, give yourself the peace of mind knowing that you are COVID free or, you know, that you have it, you know, so you can not infect others. It's really important, guys. So get these tests. Okay, again, super important. It's available on Amazon right now. Click it. Um, it may say availability X number of days. Actually, I got mine ahead of schedule. Today is December 30th. And I wasn't supposed to get this until I think it was January 5th and somehow it magically just showed up. So very cool stuff, guys. Order from Amazon. Um, you get with Prime, really good. Amazon's reliable, you know that. And um, it works, like it's really cool, it's easy. And it gives me a definite sense of relief knowing that I can test myself now periodically just to see how I'm doing, you know, just make sure that I'm not like asymptomatic or whatever, you know? So it's a great way of testing yourself at home. It takes 15 minutes, it's a piece of cake, okay? If you guys have any question about this test, let me know in the comments below here. I'm happy to help you guys out. But again, you can do this for yourself. You can see that worked and you can see that you're negative. So really, really cool. Okay. And if you're positive, at least, you know, you can always go for a more advanced like lab test and to make sure, but this gives you a kind of a good baseline that, you know, you're probably negative. So that's really good. And under the current CDC guidelines, if you do two of these and get two negatives, you're pretty certain you're negative then. Okay. All right, friends. I want to thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys are safe and healthy and everything's good but again if you have any questions i really follow this covid thing very closely okay so um if you have any questions let me know about covid down below shoot me an email uh text toys at gmail.com you guys know i'm here to help okay and um just stay tested and mask up and uh stay safe and healthy okay and click the link okay talk to you soon bye bye